Like everything else in this world, there is a cause and an effect. What if you had your baby genetically created using a test tube when you and your loved one were thinking about starting a family and something went wrong when the baby was born, would you want this to happen to your child? If you were a caring and loving parent, you most likely probably wouldn't want that to happen. With genetic engineering, there might be an immediate solution, but there also could be a change over a period of time. This change could be bad and could be a slight mutation if something goes wrong during the process. Genetic engineering could result with your baby not having a disease if everything thing goes smoothly during the process. I am the type of person that believes in everything happens for a reason. So, the reason I do not support genetic engineering and am against it is because I believe that you shouldn't mess with the natural flow of things and that whoever created it, if it's God or it just happened, it is there for a reason and it's already good enough, so I think it shouldn't be played around with and should be just left alone. End of story. And, I think it's perfectly alright to get genetically tested before you or your loved one gets pregnant. I am the type of person that believes in everything happens for a reason. Your partner is pregnant. The genetic test results will give you the basic evidence of whether or not if you should have a baby. The evidence I am talking about are like the results of your test. The results shows you what your genes consist of. For example, it will show you what diseases you have and if you are carrying any. If you are carrying any, your child is most likely to have that disease, and it examines the actual DNA molecule S inside you. So don't forget to get genetically tested before you get pregnant or get someone else pregnant.